Hi friends. It's November. I'm obviously not doing 30 inks. I've got a lot going on and I just can't. But I did get um, an ink advent calendar. So I'll be doing that in December. Come what may. Um, but start of November, start of currently inked. Y'all might be surprised. I had a bunch of pins inked, right? I have only two still left with ink in them. What? Right? Pretty crazy. Pretty impressive. And I have thoughts. Oh, this one I just finished. Wait a second. Let's cross that out. Okay, it probably has enough. And I'm going to just put 11 too. Um, anyway, I have a lot of thoughts about last month's inks. My, my pinkness and one of my favorite is one that's still inked is the piano black um with what did I put in it momo pink it's really nice um well if we look at it what did we have we had some flying thing some old stuff the pro gear with the western trillium a little bit dry um, this Pilot Kakuno with Ink Studio 130 was awful, awful. It was way too dry. So I actually switched it and maybe I, maybe you knew that already. Anyway, and I put a uh, Faber-Castell electric pink in it. That was better. Still didn't love it. We'll zoom in a little so you can see this better. Um, the Ink Studio 130 I love this swatch. Did not like the writing experience. Very glad I did not buy a bottle. It's not the right ink for me. Um, the KWZ Raspberry, loved it 100%. It was great. Liked it in this pen. The Euphoria, uh, the Benny Euphoria with the uh, Rose Grenade. Apologies. Um, that was pretty good. The P Prospector. With this um, Kobe number 61, mm, didn't love it. Didn't, that color ink is, I don't know, it felt dry. This one was great. Fisher de Magellan in here, I liked it. And then the Eaton Apple pin I had with Kozumusu was nice. So a bit all over the place. But let's move on. Let's do currently inked in here. I'm cold today. It's not that cold, but it's cold. I'm gonna go forward in time here. Here they all are. Oh, I finally, I finally finished the dark lilac. But look at that! I got through um through so many of these. Was that thirteen? Maybe I don't know. We'll do this here because I feel like it. But this actually means I have to ink some pins because I only have two pins with ink. And I had some thoughts about what to do. So I have five inks and five pens to ink up with the inks. So we'll zoom out. We'll do that together. So what have I been up to? What have you been up to? Um, I actually been doing a lot of hand sewing on a quilt that I finally, finally, finally finished. I feel really excited about that. Um, and then I was kind of like playing too many, too much of this one match three game. So I deleted those off my phone. Okay. I say those because there was, I say this one, but there were two. Anyway, I think this was it. Great. Oh, by the way, I got a new pen. I got the new Twisby. I don't remember what color this is. Light blue. Sky blue. I'm going to call it sky blue because why not? Let's hope that's correct. But I wanted, these are all inks that I have not put in pens yet. With the exception of this, which is a pen I haven't inked yet. So exciting, right? Oh, I didn't rinse that either. Uh, let's get some water. Okay. I actually just took it to the sink and got it watery there. So... After the quilt's done, it's like, 
what am I gonna do with all my time? I did a, like a sort of focus fire on that quilt where I really concentrated on it. Um, and it felt good to get that done. Um, I, I think I showed it in a video, in the backdrop of a video where I talked, um, it's one that I sewed together completely by hand. And then I did all the quilting by hand as well. And that feels like pretty amazing. Um, there's one thing that I did by machine, which is to attach, to halfway attach the binding. If you know anything about quilts, like you, you attach, you can attach like half of it by machine and then you sew the rest down by hand. And I did that because honestly, there was no reason to not do that. So I did that. I'm still gonna call it a hand, hand sewn, hand quilted quilt because it is. Um, and it's so bright. It's wonderful. Um, much of my time lately, my second hobby seems to be going to open houses because I am, my partner and I are looking to buy a place and the real estate market sucks. Especially if you live where we do. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that's happening. And I, I don't know. Good luck to us. We actually found some really cool places today. The problem is you find places that you like and then you're like, they want how much? Why did you put the listing price this much lower? Like, we're talking like 300,000 lower, which is the price of a house in some locations. That is not lost on me, okay? Yeah, but anyway, anyway, I won't get into that. Um. I was supposed to meet up with some friends yesterday, but stuff happened and that didn't happen. So hopefully next weekend, one of those friends is Amanda. I'm very excited about that, especially because she's, she's so sweet to like protect my anonymity, privacy, but uh, we went in on a like we did a joint order through Hobonichi and because I had to go to bed and the uh, did not have luck getting to the order confirmation before I went to bed, she was the one to, to order it. So my stuff is with her and there's this part of me that's like, oh my gosh, I want it now, 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 now. But like, yo, I don't need it now. I don't need it until January. So I've got time. I'm I'm over that. I want it now, now, now. That was like the first couple of days, you know. Um. But yeah, here we are. Let me ask you a question, those of you. Do you think of advent calendars as uh, religious? I mean, because like they are, but. Some people are like, Christmas is secular, and no, it's not, it's Christian. But Advent calendars have certainly become <laughs> loosely related with, with anything religion. Um, I love Advent calendars, and there is one, I obviously got one of them that is expensive. But I, I wanted it and treat, you know, it's nice to treat myself once in a great while. But there's another one I found by a local chocolatier, Dandelion Chocolates. It's quite pricey and I want it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. You can buy, there's two versions of it. One that you buy like the default is one serving 
but you can buy it so that it has two servings and that would be better. I would like, I would like to share it. That is incredibly expensive. And then I also found advent calendars for wine. For wine, y'all. For wine. But, you know, who knows? I might not even like the wine, so. Okay, as usual, I'm not doing full fills on any of these. This is how I'm able to <laughs> go through and use pins with more uh, frequency. I don't know. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, I'm using the same ink for so long, especially in these Twisbees. Okay, Maria, you need to look. Is that a fly? Is that no, it's a fly? It's, I need to cover that bottle. So I actually, what I liked about this is, with one exception, it's a pretty inexpensive set of pens here. For high values of inexpensive, <laughs> Bic pen would certainly be less expensive. But here we go. Also... <laughs> I might have to get a pink or something. <laughs> Look at this very dark selection of pens. <laughs> okay. Where'd we go? We're here. Okay. Let's go. Where are we at currently? What? Why did I? Why is there an S? Currently inked. Oh, let's just, this color's in here. Good job, Marie. Good job, you anticipated. <laughs> um, this is my Lamy Studio in piano black. In the ink, uh, what did I say? Did I say Tachio Momo pink? I think I did. Let's double check it. Mm -hmm. Touch a Momo pink. And the nib is a 14 karat medium. 14K. It's a 14,000. Oh, let's zoom in. Boop. I've been storing the, the studios in here. And then, oh, but we're going to want a picture. That's fine. We'll take a picture of here. And then, this is a Lamy Studio in Aquamarine. And the ink is Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. This is a medium nib. I still am pleased with that. By the way, reminder, teal shows up as bluer on the camera than it really is. Great. Let's move on. Then we have this one. Uh... I should have gotten the thing. Well, we'll guess on the nib sizes. This is the Twisby Eco Cerulean. And this has to be a broad nib. <laughs> and the ink here is Sailor Pen Show 2022. Yeah. This is just like fire hose right now. I think it's just a lot of ink in the collar. This is a pretty good match. I was well pleased. Look, you if, if you have the cerulean, you can see how much bluer this camera makes it look. And it's not just this camera, it's any camera. Okay. Here we have this one. Wow, I must have been like tired of the nibs I had or something. Hold on. This has to come down. It protects me. 
well, protects the page. This is a Twisby Eco eggplant uh, with a broad nib. And the ink is the Wet Pen Blackberry. We had, there's wild blackberries near here, and they went from not ripe, not ripe, not ripe, to burnt because we got like a massive heat wave. It's a bummer. This is Piper Trading, Second Empire. This is a music nib. And the ink is, we're taking up more than one line here. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, tono and limbs. It's all gay. This one goes through some funky changes as it dries, but look at that is a really good match. I was very pleased with, <laughs> with a couple of these. This one, interestingly, um, did not look as off. It kind of depends on what paper you view the blackberry. It's not as eggplanty as this. But that's as close as I get. And it made me realize I really could use a sort of burgundy maroon pen. Man, this ink is a trip. I love it. And here we have, I'm hoping this is a medium. I think it is. I can't, I look at it like I can read it. Maybe you can read it for me. No. We tried. We tried and failed. Lesson learned, never try. So this is a Twisby Eco in black. I'm going to call this a medium because it's certainly not as broad as those. And this is Kiwi inks sf pin show 2024 and if i recall i'm gonna smear that out because i this has some heavy green sheen you can actually see it on the feed I'm already missing that match three game. This is why I had to uninstall it because I, I, am, I was having a problem. And here we have new pen day. I thought I got a broad. Who's we eco? I'm calling this sky blue. I could have sworn I got a broad on this one, friends. Do we see a letter anywhere? Well, the pen case isn't here. It doesn't matter. I'll correct it if I need to. And this one is... Diamine, Eau de Nile, Water of the Nile. Is the Nile that color? Um, you know, if you want to support me to find out, I'm willing to take that trip for you to report back. See, look at this. It didn't, it looked like it, it matched this and it didn't match this and now it matches it again. Funky, oh look, and you can see how this is like all sheen at this point. Now, this is feeling really like dark and broody. So maybe I'll end up bringing a pink in or something, but we've got like 
<laughs> we got two that are basically the same color. Good job, Maria. With the, uh, <laughs> with the pin show and eau de new. Although this I think will become lighter when it's not as juicy and this won't. And then the aquamarine is like a tone, it, you know, it's like a grayish version. So very like subdued set of pens um, compared to my last month. Maybe this is like the answer to last month. Like the way, how do you, what happens after you like binge on pink this perhaps? What, what's going to happen if I end up doing my like 60 inks of like shades of teal? Do you think I'm going to end up like not wanting teal anymore? Hmm. I don't think that's possible. I looked at a house today that was like a darker version of this color. Oh, gorgeous. Well, slightly bluer. Kind of like this color, really. Um, I loved it. Anyway, oh, and my partner was going to get rid of some socks, but look, I came up with a use for them. So, nice, right? Nice. So here's our currently inked. Very rambly and chatty. Um, I should have said that up front that it might be, but oh well. If you're still here, you've discovered that for yourself. And really... It's about the, the, sometimes it's about the journey and not the destination. So, um, I may make a video soon about like crafty, sewy type things instead of inky things. But other than that, I'm not sure. Um, cause like house stuff is taking up a lot of brain capacity and also like I'm trying not to have anxiety about impending things which I'm sure lots of folks are uh anyway I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a wonderful day take care of yourselves bye